Right, how are we all doing? Uh, insert the same excuse for um, today's vlog being a one shot as I used yesterday. Uh, not that at this point anyone would have seen yesterday's vlog because even though I thought I'd hit the render button and uh, left the laptop to sit for a good few hours to do it, oh crap, um, it turns out I, I, I didn't hit the render button at all and I just left the laptop sitting there doing absolutely balls all, <laughs> like all afternoon. Not that that really matters because I feel if I hit, once the render is done, I might only just have enough space. Let's say I recorded today's vlog the way I expected to record today's vlog. Uh, you know, go out and record, uh, you know, doing bits in town and stuff. Um, I doubt I'd have even had enough space to copy the vlog off of the memory cards. And... Uh, I ordered a hard drive. I thought it was going to come through today. Well, I thought it was going to come through like soon, and uh, I don't even think they've dispatched it yet. So I bought it from eBuyer, and I used their standard ship, in which I think is like three to five days. Uh, but I need it now. So thankfully, I got paid this morning. I had a little payday this morning, and uh, I ended up buying another hard drive that'll be here for tomorrow. So regular shite service will resume tomorrow. Look. He did. Not really. I mean, he trimmed his paws. Uh, <laughs> he did it. Yeah. He now doesn't have big old furry paws. But he's going slowly cut away a bit at a time. <sighs> I'm now desperately, desperately, desperately trying to remember my day. We went to the marshes. You went to um, the bank. Yeah. So the, the 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 bank thing was supposed to be. The main thing for today. Why is it? I was going. Hey. Yeah, we did. So we did paperwork. Um, oh, actually, first, can I, just, can I just? I don't know where the where the thing is, but just a little something about me, just in case you didn't know. <clears throat> you have superior taste in art and fashion. I know. Thank you for, uh, thank you for noticing. Uh, <laughs> when Inky got cut out of Kim, uh, I was around, it was Christmas, right? We watched Die Hard, yeah. and for a laugh, I wanted to get an Alan Rickman shirt. You're still soaking because I trimmed your feet. And I found one. Yeah. That was a, a, a Hans Hans Gruber shirt. It's just literally like a, a, a cartoony picture portrait of. Alan Rickman is uh, Gruber in front of the Nakatomi Plaza and it comes with a certificate of authenticity because it's by Jared Swart. It comes with a certificate of authenticity which looks like it's practically been photocopied but you know it's got a photocopied certificate of authenticity. That's a uh, basketball line by the way if anyone uh, didn't know. <laughs> but so thanks for the compliment. I, I, I think I have amazing tastes and a great uh, sense of humour. Not that most people get that, but, you know, lord of style here, walking around looking like a tramp and all that all day, every day. Um, I haven't, we're not live, by the way, yet, Inky. But it is just, it's all hooked up and ready to go at the minute. Uh, so, going for what I remember, um, I had a few phone calls to... Um... Excuse me. Are those cushions on your bed? You, you're not... You're like a cat. <laughs> You know, okay. Uh, right, phone calls, paperwork, um, you know, updating folks on that. The main groove for today, I'm trying to keep this as short as possible, sorry, was to, uh, to go to town. I'd been, I'd had an appointment booked with the bank. 
Now, uh, they said to me they wanted to um, update me on stuff with my accounts and things are going to be changing soon. And, um, you know, I, I was just supposed to go in there and have a chat with them, uh, sort out some paperwork and bits and bobs like that. And it turns out that uh, my appointment had been reshuffled, so I got there mega early. Uh, they claimed that they, the appointment was for 2.30, and I was like, I can't be at 2.30 because I've got to get the kids at 3. And then they're like, well, 1.30, uh, all right? I was like, yeah, fine. Wandered around town. I didn't take a camera with me. I took a stills camera with me. I didn't take anything for video. So that was a bit silly of me. Uh, mistake number one. Pretty much the only mistake of the day, really. Um, we went to go get uh, some glasses for mum, which uh, I thought was quite, it turned out quite funny, in my opinion. You'd have had to have been there to, you know, to, to get the groove, but I mean, I reckon if, if I had have filmed it, someone would have been sacked. But uh, where is it we get our glasses from, Inky? Vision Express. Vision Express. So that's where mum gets her glasses from, and mum's glasses aren't cheap. Now, since uh, mum was made redundant from the company she worked at before, uh, she is currently entitled, um, you know, being unemployed in the UK, she is entitled to get a free pair, was it free pair of glasses, free dental work? Yeah, free, free prescriptions. Free prescriptions, as long as they're not like, you know, you are taking the piss stuff. Like, you can't just have cosmetic stuff done. You can't have a free pair of the most expensive glasses off the shelf kind of thing. But you can go in and have, like, a free appointment to get your eyes tested. And uh, they'll give you, like, a super cheap pair of glasses and all that. And um, well, who are they again? Vision Express. So I always get them confused with the other one. Is it Vision Express you said? Mm -hmm. Yes. Vision Express, yeah. Right. Um, who's the other one? Specsavers? Yes. Right. Yeah, um, Vision Express for me have now cocked up four pairs of glasses and lost my records for another pair. And so I've had a, I've had a bit of a mmm with them. And the, even the glasses I'm wearing now, uh, whilst they're alright, they're still not as good as the ones that I had made back when I was in Norwich before we started the daily vlog. I think I got them before we started the daily vlog. It was when we were doing the, the Big Nerd show, weren't they? And... Um, so you know, I, I've I've not been entirely happy with uh, with them because they they won't do what I ask them to do. If I ask them to replace my glasses, the ones that they they sent me that were goofy, I said, like, well, they are correct as per what we did, and I said, yeah, but it was wrong because I can't see out of them, and there's now three pair, like you know, three four pairs here that I just can't wear because um, if I do, I'll I'll just be blind. I might just you know close my eyes and run into a wall. But anyway, mum goes in there and um, she mentions that basically, you know, while she's, uh, while she's between jobs, because I mean, mum can get a job like tomorrow, right? Uh, she said while she can get a free pair of glasses, um, she might as well. And the look she got from the member of staff, as if to say, you, you, uh, you welfare scumbag was just... Um, mum noticed it, I noticed it, but we just had a laugh with it and, and, and left the store. She's got, she's booked an appointment, but, um, given my run, I mean, how's Vision Express for you? They've been alright. See, I, I don't have any luck with them. We haven't, I haven't had any luck with them since Jelly Zero, um, dealt with our, dealt with our paperwork kind of thing. Um, and Jelly don't work there anymore from what I understand. That was back when we were in, when we went to the Norwich one. But I've had no joy with the last off one. Uh, so then I went across the street to... Wait, Specsavers? Yeah. Yeah. Much... Let's, let's put it this way. Vision Express was empty. Absolutely empty. There was no one there. None. Over the road to the, uh, the, the competing company, absolutely packed. Like, literally, it looked like you were at an Apple store at an iPhone launch. You know, there were stacks and stacks of people in there. You know, going in for glasses. You know, just a pair of, of a pair of bloody glasses. So I go in there, have a little chat with uh, with the uh, with the lady, nice as can be to uh, to me, and 
compared to most of the people that walk in through the doors of a store, I look like a tramp. So the fact that I walk into the busier store and get better service than my mum does was just so mum's tempted to go to the other place depending on how well they do my how well they do my glasses because I'm actually technically entitled. Am I entitled to free glasses? Yeah, I think I'm or I'm entitled to discounted glasses, I don't know, something to that effect. Yeah. Um, no, I can get discount frames, can't I? Is it dis You're entitled to free free lenses and discounted frames. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, uh, there's loads of different ways you can get discounted stuff on NHS, isn't there? Yeah. Anyway, I've booked an appointment tomorrow to go and get my eyes tested so that maybe I can get a pair of glasses that don't give me a bloody headache. As long as I can see straight and I don't get a headache, I'm cool. So I go to the bank, and uh, bless him, I thought this was, I thought it was funny. So I thought I was going in there just to talk about my account. You know, changes that were going to be made to my account and, and sort out some paperwork and bits and bobs like that. And I go in there, and the first thing they mention um, is my balance. It's not high. It's not it's semi low, but it's not brutal, right? And um, so I say to them how my money goes into one account and then money gets transferred into this account. You know, like I, I funnel funds as I clear them into, into, uh, into this account. And the first thing they basically say to me is, um, yeah, we're, we're, the, the whole point of this conversation was to offer you a loan or a credit card. And I was like, I don't want a loan or a credit card. And they're like, why not? And I was like, because I don't want one. I didn't come here with the idea of getting a credit card or, or a loan. Uh, and they were like, so what, what did you come down for? I was like, well, one, because you asked me to. Two... Because you said you had to tell me things about the changes to my account being made in April. And um, well, that you, you said there were changes being made to my account. And they said, yeah, the ones in April. I said, That's, they're the ones. And I said, look, you, you can't interest me in any of this stuff anyway. Because one, I don't want it. Two, I don't need it. And three, this is what, like, so I basically kind of dazzled them with the, I know what's coming out of my account, what's coming in and when uh, kind of groove. And they're like, oh. And I was like, and I was like, this here will be at this rate within the next couple of months. That account will be here within the next couple of months. Here's what's going in. Um, I said, I've got this amount being on hold right now. And all that. And they're like, oh, you've, you, you're, in so many words, basically, you're on the ball. You've got this now. And I was like, well, yeah, because I, I can't let you guys do it. Because it's in your interest for me to be in debt up to my eyeballs because then you can charge me for it or throw credit cards and loans my way. I was like, basically by, um, by April, this will be here. By June, that will be over there too. And I said, like I said, um, like I said a minute ago, I had a small amount of money come in today, plus some extra. I was like, I'm just gonna tip that into the account. Groovy, so that's, there's, there's that done and um, I'll put some money from there into here and all that kind of stuff. And I mentioned how we'd had some issues happen around the house, like um, the tumble dryer gone and stuff like that. I go, so we've had to funnel money to other places recently, and they asked me about home insurance. And I said, no, I haven't got home insurance, but my partner has. And they said, well, we can offer you home insurance for as little as of four pounds a month or something like that. And... Mum chimed in and was like, "What? That's ridiculous! I pay way more than that, and I'm with your, I'm with this bank." And at that point, I said, "Look, I'm sorry, you can't really help me right now. Perhaps in April, I'll come back and uh, uh, we'll talk about uh, you know ways to expand and and things like that. But right now, I've got everything under control." And they said, "Yeah, we can see that." However, um, you've just gone and offered me something that's far better than what uh, my mum currently has. And so then we moved the, the conversation into um, kind of leveling out my mum's insurance, which was it was ridiculous to me. I think mum was paying four or five times the amount. No. Maybe upwards of six times the amount that they offered me for home insurance. And so um, we ended up sorting that out. That's like pretty much the most adventurous thing 
for today. Felt kind of like a, a wasted appointment up until that point, but I will say the staff at the bank were incredibly nice. Um, they didn't mind me having a laugh with them, as I usually do. I always poke and prod and, and uh, crack a few jokes here and there. And that was that. Went and got the kids from school. They had good days. Then me and Inky took uh, Charlie Spaniel, what about me, around the marshes. It was groovy. Had a romantic meal for two. Watched uh, Seaman, the Grand Tour special. And now we're going to play Big Kim Takes Over the Neighbourhood. I know. Corrupting the world one child at a time. <laughs> but, yeah. I, I, I swear there was actually something else I wanted to talk about earlier. I can't remember what it was. I can't remember what I've done. Surely there was something. I, I will say I'm glad we did that paperwork today. Oh, and we scanned your book in. First attempt at scanning in um, Inky's little art book. We did that with Mum's um, scanner, printer dealio. Uh, and we'll probably do another version when Inky actually finishes the book. You're only about three or four pages away from finishing? Six. Oh, six pages away from finishing. That'll be rad. We'll do like a high res copy of it. You're going to put it on your website, aren't you? Yeah. But we'll probably uh, clean it up so that it's not, you know, you don't have the kind of light outline of where the book is to where it will try and make it so that's a bit more readable um, kind of thing. Because uh, Inky's, Inky's book is very... Well, that's right, so format is nightmare if it was in, in the digital format because and Inky just looked at him as if to say, no, nah, you're talking bad about my stuff. I'm not. It's just when Inky, when Inky does things, you know, she's very, oh, how's it, how to put it? Very dynamic. It's very, analog. Yeah, it's very f kind of fluid. There's no set, like I'm, I'm doing this page, you know, this way. And then the next page, we're rocking this way. Um, so like, there could be a spread, and there, there, you know, you have to actually, if you move the book around, um, images tend to kind of change, depending on how you look at them. You know, when you change your perspective on an image, you'll get kind of a different take on it. And so obviously in a digital format, unless you've got your, I mean, I made a joke to Inky, she said, that'd be a nightmare for people on iPads. I said, yeah, it's going to end up, in a, it's going to be digitized in a, in a new, uh, in a Brooklyn library. Right. Imagine the day that book hits the hits the di the digital version hits the library. It's going to be the day that you see reports in uh, in American newspapers that iPads were literally skimmed across the floor because people were raging as the uh, auto rotate started kicking as people were trying to spin the pages around in there. Um, I think that's that's really nice. Uh, I think with a little bit of fiddling to the um, formatting of the uh, images, that'll be a really nice read. Um, but I, I honestly think to enjoy Inky's book, if anyone gets a chance to, to check it out, um, it's one you really have to hold. You know, there's so many little bits that you can kind of fiddle with and look through and, uh, you know, lift bits up and move bits around and, and you know, it, it makes more sense that way. It feels right. When you've got hold of the book, you know. Uh, but yeah, we did that, and I, I think that was that. That might, I can't remember what else I was saying other, other than Inky's book is rad. Oh yeah, and again, I'm gonna say it again. I'm really glad we got that paperwork done. Um, I didn't take a huge amount of time, did I? I mean, it was just literally flip down a few pages, flip through a few pages, tick a few boxes, and um, we should be good to go. Um, should be, as terrifying as it is, as terrifying as it is, you sound like, hoo, hoo, hoo. stupid prick, it's not that terrifying, I'm like, it is, I don't want to screw up, I'm still sad that we lost that little book though, though. I might call this day done because I'm now wasting. How long have I been recording for? Hang on, is there? A... Oh my God, 21 minutes! I haven't. I don't think I've got enough space to move this over to the laptop right now.
I have to actually wait until the other hard drive turns up to be able to do to do this. Oh my god, scares. I am so sorry for just sitting here talking shit for 20 minutes. You do it all the time. Do you remember that time you did a vlog and it was nearly an hour long? And you were just sat there twiddling your thumbs. Yeah, I know I'm crap at this. <laughs> uh, see, the thing is, if you vlog normally, like little bits during the day, you can literally compact an entire day down to like a couple of minutes. Super easy to do. But when you just sit down and mind dump, that's the bit that takes the most time. I'm gonna have a coke, make my wife a cup of tea, and and we're gonna play fucking Sims. Yeah. Tap 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 tap. If your phone was a mechanical keyboard, I'd be doing like what those people do in those memes or in the in the in the in the um in the gifs. People are fucking smashing keyboards over tables. Tap, 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 tap. You know, people say when you punch people out, you're fucking, you're, your arm's moving, you got, you know, fiddler's elbow going on. Yeah? That's like Inky's thumbs, man, like high speed tapping. Tap, 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 tap. Woodpecker. Tap, 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 tap. So, you know, this is another way that you know that I've done good, right? I mean, not that I'm doing good right now, I'm in a right prick. <laughs> but the fact that cracking lass right there, any other woman would have just literally come over here and toe punted me square in the face. <laughs> She's smiling. That means she might be thinking about it, so I'm a tad concerned now. <laughs> no? She's saying no. She said, stop exaggerating. <laughs> She nods yes. <laughs> Shall we just play the same, Zanny? Alright. Uh, we hope you're well. We'll see you all with a bit of luck tomorrow. There is no domestic going on in this house. I'm just I'm just throwing that out there. What? Do you want a domestic? Do I want a domestic? Fuck yeah, let's go. Handbags at ten paces? Oh, but I've got my favourite one, my little, my little one with the leather and the. Oh, I'll get my dress. <laughs> Nanny, can you go and get us a gato? <laughs> oh, a gato! Yeah. That would be brilliant. That's what we need. Let's... Who needs a domestic when you can have a gato? I don't know why, but whenever I say domestic, I think of um, Domestos, the bleach. Right. What's the other stuff? The 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 um. Domestic IPA. N no, the wife beer. <laughs> no, um, uh, the stuff. What was the stuff? Disinfectant. That is domestos, you dickhead. No, domestos is bleach. No, domestos does disinfectant. No, I'm saying like the, the the brown shit. You fucking. Yes, which is also domestos. If I put domestos on that fucking floor over there, I'll be bleached white. <laughs> I'm talking about the brown shit. Yes. Which is also called Domestos Disinfectant. But it's different! <laughs> there you go, she was about to throw a control pad out. Just imagine it, just imagine it. Just imagine it. Ready? Duh. Oh, fuck! No bomb top! Ah! That's fucking mean! <laughs> fucking hell, this guitar gonna hit me in the head! That is proper abuse, right? We're ending this vlog before I get out. <laughs> What's that? There's a cable! I'm being whipped! We'll see you all tomorrow. <laughs> Go and get a cat. Cat o. Yes. <laughs> you is mean. No, I'm not a meme. <laughs> mean, no. <laughs> Words.